Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for June. So we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself or calling on your soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thinking regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. So if you click in the... Uh, description bar below see where it says start reading click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera okay as i always say please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't need to get some new cards should be coming today uh, yeah, I'll tell you what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up, of course, on your story, stick around and sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that you just kind of need to hear or that jump out at you. Um, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Pull it in your soul, mate. Pull it in your soul, mate. Oh, yeah. Right, so let me just take these in. You might see extra cards just due to me clarifying. I'm going to take these in and I'll be back. So, uh... Aquarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this thing also I personally deal with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right, so your message, we've got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visual visualizations help bring you together. And the reason why that's your message, because for a lot of you, there's this person, whoever this is, showing up. There's a, And this is the recent past that I'm just kind of touching on at the moment. We've got the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Swords, which talks about you just constantly thinking, just being bound by thoughts of this person and of this situation. But there's definitely, or was definitely hesitation there with the Knight of Cups. I feel like it's to do with you just having this lack of clarity around communication that you're wanting uh, or that you would have wanted to have had with this person or and information that came into you or communication from this person that came to you which kind of left you thinking you not knowing what to think really for like for the for the for the majority of you it's more about your communication with them not knowing how things are going to work out not knowing how things are going to turn out um, and just not not able to escape your thoughts about this because you're wanting to bring this uh back Ultimately, I feel like there's been some form of separation or something happened, which caused you both to be in this state where this person, you know, was putting up their boundaries. So, yeah, he was right in terms of just being hesitant. This person has put up their boundaries with the Queen of Swords because there is this awareness that they came across or this awareness that they have or had. This might be due to just the amount of time they've been with you as well, how long this situation was going on for. Regardless of that awareness, there's still this uh, care or love that they do have. But it's like, mm, we've got the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a very reckless, youngish type of energy when we're talking about the Knight of Swords. So that's on top of that ace. So I feel like this person acknowledges that they can get a bit just out of their mind reckless when it comes to this because what they're wanting is to just move out of this emotional space that just doesn't feel good to them they want to get into a better feeling place ultimately so that's where those boundaries were coming from uh, Aquarius yeah wanting to to do something different in order for them to feel better to either avoid that or to get out of that feeling as well yeah Seems like things are going well for you, though, currently. Outside this connection, Aquarius, things are... Feels, feels like you're just in a better... You're in a better place or you're, you know, in a, a place that kind of feels good. Um, things are going well. 
But again, it's this, all right, well, now I've got this situation, with this person at the forefront of my mind. I, I acknowledge that it's come to an end. Some of you are painful ends in, but I want to fix it. I want to get it back. I want to get it back. I want to take some form of action. I'm ready now to take some form of action in order for me to heal this, in order for me to fix this, bring this back into alignment. Why? Because I still have a strong emotional connection with this person. A lot of chemistry, highly attracted to, but again, we've got that queen of swords acknowledging that this person has their boundaries up with you. They're guarded. For some of you, this, you know, you, you have this perception that you know, they don't trust me. They don't trust me. Your person's overwhelmed. And it makes sense as to why this is your message. Because they're overwhelmed. As much as you might be kind of in a good space within your life, this person seems to be really overwhelmed with either work or just other things that is going on for them. Um, to add to that, you know, they're just constantly, you know, they, they've not they've not escaped thoughts about this situation with you. They want it, they're wanting to get on top of it, though. They're wanting to get on top of it. It's like consciously making a decision to do so, which for me says it's quite challenging. Quite challenging for them to be in a better place. It's this better place. I want to get into a better place. Yeah, I want to get into a better place. I'm, I'm just trying to think because it's like, for a lot of you, this person was really showed up for you like the, the queen, queen of cups. We're talking about just patient, understanding, supportive, empathetic, uh, a lot of empathy there. And now it's like, I don't want to feel that or feel like I need to portray that or not to say it's a bad thing, but I feel like this person recognizes that that doesn't get them anywhere. Meaning it doesn't, you know, they, they want to they feel different. They don't want to feel like they're, because I feel like maybe they're naturally like that. But that's gotten them into a bit of trouble. So they're wanting, you know, things to turn around for that. They wanted to get out of this place that doesn't just feel good, 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 good for them. Amongst that, there's other things going on. Um, work, which they're very much overwhelmed with. So it makes sense as to why this is your message. You know, uh, your prayers and affirmations and visualization help bring you together. And it's not really approaching this person without being inspired to. It's about, you know, allowing divine timing to be at play. It's about visualizing, visual visualizing, setting your intention, putting it out there, getting yourself into a, a place of receiving that and, and let it unfold the way it's meant to. Because I feel like at this point, this person, just based on what's going on with their life and what's going on within their own life, this will just be an added thing that they just don't need at this time. They're just trying to get themselves into a better place. They're not there yet. They're not where you are. They're not where you are. They're still constantly thinking about this. It's an effort to not. Um, and it's due to, it's like they're, they're, they're so compassionate, so understanding that that's not beneficial to them coming out of this. And when I say coming out of this, I mean emotionally being in a better place. You know, less needy, less maybe clingy or attachment. Hmm. So give it some time, set the intention, get yourself into a better place, let divine timing unfold. Um, and if you feel inspired at any point, you know, don't let me, you know, if you're at a point where you feel inspired, then take it, take action. But this is just a message, you know, don't force that action. Let it, let it feel, be inspired to take it, if that makes sense. Yeah. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.